So, um, so where we're pointing at here is the right atrium, and then this is the oracle of the right atrium. Sorry. As we open it up, we can see what are the muscles called there? The pectinate, pectinate muscles, and that's the right atrium. And right through here, through the hole, it's connecting. If we open it up here, this is the tricuspid valve. And coming off of the tricuspid valve, we have the chordae tendineae, which is those white parts. And then they connect to the papillary muscles. And then we have the trabriculae carnae. Okay. And as we go up, into 37. This is going up into the pulmonary trunk. So number nine is the pulmonary trunk and it's splitting into the left and the right pulmonary arteries. Okay, and then the blood will return via the four pulmonary veins into the left atrium, which is number seven. And these are just the other veins. So they're both going into the left atrium, so that's number seven. So as we open that up, uh, the valve that we have here, this is the mitral or the bicuspid valve, which is 41. Again, we have the chordae tendineae, we have the papillary muscles, and then we have the tuberculae carnae. And then this ejects, if you can see it back there, through the semilunar aortic valve, that's going into the aorta. So we have the ascending aorta, we have the aortic arch, and then the descending aorta. And then in the order here, we have the brachio, number 13 is the brachiocephalic trunk, common carotid trunk, and then we have the uh, subclavian artery. So different model. So going through the pulmonary circuit, so they're coming from the in, uh, superior vena cava, and on the back, on this model, it's just down here. Sorry, that's not a very good video here. So inferior, superior vena cava, and they're both going into the right atrium. So from the right atrium, they're gonna go through the tricuspid valve. So you can see the valves here again. So we have the chordae tendineae, which are the white fibers. We have the papillary muscles, which are attached right to the chordae tendineae, and then we have the tuberculae carnae, which is just the bottom, bottom part. So once the ventricle contracts, we're going to go through the pulmonary semilunar valves, valve, <laughs> it's going to go through the pulmonary trunk, and then it's going to go into the left and the right pulmonary arteries. So. Around the back, we're gonna see here, we just took this off, but that's basically what it looks like here. We have four pulmonary veins returning to the heart. So as you take this off, you can see they both return right into the left atrium. Okay. So that's going through the mitral or bicuspid valve, which you can see right there. Again, chordae tendineae, papillary muscles, and then the tuberculae carnae. And then once the ventricle contracts, it's gonna go through into the aortic semilunar valve, gonna go through the aorta. And then we got three branches on the aorta. We have the brachiocephalic trunk, we have the left common carotid artery, and we have the left subclavian. Okay, that's it.